the average American has this impression that if somebody's hungry, it's their fault. Hunger's not about food. It's about wage. It's about, you know, it's about prisons. It's about health care. It's about a million things. When we started this, no one thought you could do it. Everyone said the health department won't let you and you can't train the homeless. And that frustration, that dare, led us to create this. DC Center Kitchen is a real kitchen where we feed people, and it's also a training ground where people come to learn how to feed people. That feeding and the training go hand in hand. DC Central Kitchen prepares 4,000 meals every day, 365 days a year. So we are an active kitchen. The food that's prepared every day is prepared by staff and men and women that are in the agencies that we serve. They get a chance every 12 weeks to come here and be part of a job training program. What we discovered very quick is how cool is this? It works, and it works in ways that enable us to feed the larger community, but also inspire. We like to say that we feed the soul of the city. We use food as a tool to strengthen bodies, empower minds, and build communities. Every day, if you come into the kitchen in the morning, there you're stepping over pallets of food. There are 35, 40 volunteers, side by side, culinary job training students, which are homeless men and women, side by side with staff members, all working toward a common goal, and that's to produce 4,000 meals a day. It's all about teamwork, it's about partnerships, it's about common goals. Might be whole chickens that look like they may be just a touch freezer burned, we'll see. But we get a ton of stuff donated, which we convert into balanced meals. A lot of people come off the street, they come into DC Central Kitchen, and within 12 weeks, they reform, they graduate, and they get white jackets, and they get a job. And that's for real. They get good jobs, and they don't come back. They don't go back into the shelter. They get apartments, they get houses, they get cars, and they get married. And they go on with a productive life. Our community's rich whether it's food, whether it's people, whether it's talent, whether it's love, whether it's money, we got a lot. The kitchen's just about using it a very different way. I launched the V3 movement, and the idea is we gotta get our voices united, and every time we use our united voice, we gotta speak about the value we bring to the community. For the first time all around America, we're starting to realize we're all nonprofits together. And we can't do this just us. You know, we have to organize ourselves to have a voice at the table. The nonprofit sector in America would be the seventh biggest economy on the planet if it was a country. Yet we don't have a say in the smallest town budget process. That's what we gotta step into. We represent 10% of the economy. We have $3 trillion in assets combined. There's 100 million people out there in America who for them, being part of making their community a better place, as clumsy as it might be at times, it's important to them. We need to consolidate that and really start to realize we have potential power here that we can work with.